You are the company officer, and your driver operator is a six-year veteran and has been a driver for one year. It's 0800 hours at the start of the shift. I'll help you with this, but don't tell the captain. So what do we think? Well, if, if I had come in on that situation, um, I would have a couple emotions. The first would be one of, we're doing something right at this firehouse because I have a veteran firefighter who is now stepping into a role of mentoring a firefighter who have, who's having trouble. That's a win in my firehouse 100% of the time. I don't want to have to be the one who's always doing all the training, always doing all the mentoring. So now you have a veteran firefighter who sees a problem, is stepping in, is trying to correct it. The obvious concern for me as a company officer is I have a member who's struggling with a pretty key basic skill that they ought to have gotten in recruit school a hundred times over and now I'm watching them in my firehouse having trouble with it. Uh, personally I wouldn't step in immediately. I would let the veteran firefighter do their job and mentor that firefighter and showing them how to do it. You know, we, in our little snapshot we don't know if it's an old clunky saw that just needs some technique to learn how to start it. We've all been there with old equipment, at least I think most of us have, you know, that you learn a little technique, now you got it. Um, it could be a strength issue. If it's a strength issue, we have to address that. The way I would pursue it is I would let it flow just like it was. I would let the, the veteran mentor that, that probationary, off, the firefighter, um, let him show him the ropes, and then somewhere down the road in the next shift or whatever, I would drill that that uh, probationary firefighter on the use of that saw in the normal course of our drilling so they're not just singled out as you know and not being able to do it and I would see if that training had helped. I think you have a win all the way around. What about just the one part though where the officer walks out obviously is observing this and the it's the driver operator that turns around takes the saw from her and then says don't tell the captain. That's the problem I had with that. To me it seemed first of all like misplaced loyalty. He saw a situation, he thought he was really helping her out, but actually, I mean, I, it could be that eventually he taught her, but he didn't teach her how to accomplish her task. So I have a problem with misplaced loyalty because I, in fact, what if I hadn't seen it? I would have wanted him to advise me of it. Secondly, my concern was that she didn't seem motivated to want to get help to learn how to do that. So those are two things that I would have wanted to, to address to help her and help him so that in the future, because I do want him to mentor, but yeah. properly and I'd still as an officer would like to know what's going on and to make sure that she knows the proper way, because as he said, it could be just the, the problem, not with strength, but just the technique, and that's fine. I agree. Um, as an officer, you have expectations of the people you work with, and you just, without even thinking, uh, think that someone has skills of being able to start a saw or any other skills on a, a fire scene. A fire scene isn't the time to teach someone or think, not realize that they know how or they don't know how to do a certain skill. Um, what I would do as an officer is later on maybe without putting her on the spot maybe have a drill maybe the next shift and or trying to somehow use this, the saw within a scenario. Th there might be other people in your crew that have, don't, that have the same problem and don't know how to use the saw. Right, because it's not even a male or female right. issue, anything along exactly. those lines. It could just be yeah. a firefighter that's having difficulty. Peer performance. Right. It, it could be a performance issue. It could be an equipment issue. Right. Right. It could be that the saw's not starting properly. It could be a fuel mixture. The fuel's been sitting and hasn't been shaken up. That's and I think the senior, the senior firefighter saying, don't tell the captain, is building a bond with that probationary member and saying, 
I've got you covered here. And they're building a bond of trust with that person and mm -hmm. saying, I will help you get through it. Come to me with your problems. We're not going to uh, take the captain and weigh them down with every issue. If there's a problem, I expect that senior firefighter to come to me. And if he came to me later, I would just turn around and walk out with my cup of coffee and enjoy my morning coffee and let it go the way it is. Now, a brand new member of the fire company is going to hopefully be with the officer. And again, I understand it's, it depends on your manning and how many people you have. But the officer is responsible to teach that person on a couple of runs, a couple of fires, to know what they're capable of doing and understand it. Just because in a morning rig check, they didn't get the source started, could just be a minor issue that has nothing to do with that person's performance. And if a 240 pound guy with 80 inch biceps came up and did the same thing, he might not have gotten it started. So for the officer to get right in the grill right away is probably to me a little bit of overreacting. And you really need to let the situation develop to see how you're doing there. Would it be uh, proper, say, for the officer to work or pull the driver operator in a little later on and just kind of ask him or her, you know, is there a problem? You know, do you see something going on out there with that particular firefighter or, you know, not, you know, to get involved like you're saying and just kind of let that driver operator handle it? I think the driver operator, the senior person on the shift, should have an open door policy with the the shift officer, whether it's a lieutenant or a captain, whoever is riding in the right seat on that run. And that communication should be a constant flow of back and forth. And the officer and that driver or the senior person, and sometimes our senior people don't want to drive, they don't want that responsibility. But whoever is the informal leader on that shift, they, the officer and that person should have an open door policy where the communication flows back and forth Absolutely. and where everything is set. Well, and you want that bond with your key players, with your senior members who have so much experience. You want that bond with them that they are keeping you in tune with what's going on. And typically, my experience is that hasn't been much of a problem. When a, if a member's having troubles, as a company officer, typically you hear about it fairly quickly allowing the senior members to have an impact on them and develop that bond with the younger members, you have just knocked it out of the park. You win big time and it takes that much more off your plate. Now, the follow on to that is you do the drill like Tommy recommended. You do the drill, you incorporate the saw into a drill and it becomes apparent that even with that mentoring and training, there's a definite strength issue. There's just a technical issue. They just flat out don't get tools. At that juncture, as a company officer, you're obligated to step in and make corrections. Or, if we can't make corrections, we have you know the al alternative of obviously termination or remediation. I mean, whatever. But you're 100 percent right. right. Whatever your, your department's, department's policy, policy, policy is. Whatever the policy is, yeah. But you know, you have to work with that person, and I think that's uh, just a great way. But having that whole bond with the company, because I honestly think that senior person is developing a bond and they're going to see how your company works and you're going to they're going to be moving molding into that and it's going to be moving forward for the good of the entire company all right very good